<clears throat> okay. Um, also, who are some of your favorite authors? I know that's a common question, but I would well, like to know. Sure. Would, would, it, would that be like romance authors or just authors in general? <clears throat> romance? Sure. Um, I, I like Kate Mar uh, Kat Martin and I like Heather Graham and uh, Lisa Clayposs are just a couple of ones that I really, you know, admire and, and have read in the past. And are these your influences? Who, who has influenced you? Yeah, I mean, I think it, that's safe to say yes, because when I was a romance reader, and, and though I still read romance now, it's not as much because I'm writing a lot, but um, I did tend to always read the historical romances. So in writing, people always say, oh, why don't you write contemporary or, you know, what's going on now? And I definitely am... Um, am uh, cater to or I, I enjoy um, that historical aspect of it. I like um, setting my characters in different times and places and I love the research. I always learn something. I mean, it, that's fun for me and hopefully when the reader reads it they'll, you know, discover something interesting too. Now, about your new book, mm -hmm. what's it called and uh, what's it about? Oh, sure, it's The Tea Plantation and it is about a young woman, Alexandria, who, um, uh, to make a long story short, she accepts a proposal from a man, Edmund, who she doesn't really know that well, um, but she marries him, which was common in, um, in latter-day Victorian era, and she marries him, and he owns a plantation in Ceylon, which is Sri Lanka now, but Ceylon then, and he takes her to Ceylon, to the tea plantation, where she doesn't really have any friends or family, so she's kind of isolated, and Edmund kind of ignores her, and so she becomes um, attracted to his half brother Julian, and so the book is kind of about their romance, and and they're fighting it because she's married, but they they still they still love each other. Is it a love triangle? It's not really a love triangle because, as the reader will find out, Edmund's not really a husband in any of the normal sense of a husband. Okay. So she's kind of, she really is kind of neglected and just left alone. And so, no, I wouldn't say it's a love triangle, but it's it it's you know it's it's got some some spiciness to it. Not, spiciness. Yeah, <laughs> not as bad as the Sheik. I think um, the Sheik was a lot more um, romantic. <laughs> Romantic or um, spicy hot. <laughs> Lots with uh, that my grandmother couldn't read. I told her. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, it, another thing is, um, let's see, uh, what what are you reading right now? I'm reading a book. Um, it's called Paris, and it's by Edward Rutherford. And um, Edward Rutherford always um, takes a city or a place and writes about the history of it. He wrote about London and Ireland and um, Seyrum and Russia. And so this is another one of those very, his it's a historic novel, but it's, it's, you know, it's kind of the background of the city. So I'm reading that right now. Okay. Which is interesting because my third book, which I'm working on right now, takes place in Paris. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like a correlation. In what uh, century? My book, um, it's actually for for people who read The Sheik and the Slave, it's a continuing of that. Not a continuing, I shouldn't say that, because if you read The Sheik, it, that's, it, you're fine. But this is um, a story about The Sheik and Catherine, um, their son. So it's, um, it takes place in 1785 in Paris, and he's uh, secretary to the ambassador to France from the United Kingdom. So it's, um, and it's right before the revolution, the, the French Revolution, so it's... It's it's um it's it's fun. I'm writing. I'm starting it right now. So it's it's fun to, to create the characters and create the, the the places and the the people. And how do you come up with the ideas? Yeah, um, my friends always ask me that, and my grandmother. Um, I, I I I really don't know. I know with say, with the tea plantation, I had a little coin, and it said Ceylon, and it was this beautiful old coin, and it had a a palm tree, and. Um, I didn't know where Ceylon, I didn't know what it was, but I just I, I just thought that coin was so cool. And so I looked it up and, and then I started like, you know, kind of coming up with the idea about this man who owned a tea plantation, but you know, so that that's how that started. That's how it works, okay. <laughs> it's it's there's no there's no uh there's no formula. <laughs>